Well, hello and welcome. Sorry about the uh, super close up of the home here. <laughs> As you can tell, they're like right next to each other. Like they're about the width of a hallway, really. <laughs> but uh, I got this really nice, super affordable. No, it's not sheet or it's not wallboard. This is all sheetrock. This is a modular. Yeah, this is a Schult home modular. Three bedroom, two bath home with a very unique floor plan. I really like the floor plan in this one. As far as like all the bedrooms are in the back side of this home. It's not your cookie cutter style floor plan. This one is really nice. It's 1,280 square foot. That's your master bathroom, by the way. So it's a little bit smaller. But uh, three bedroom, two bath. Let's see. Well, that's your bedroom there. <laughs> but our back door over here. And I am at uh, Majestic Homes here in Billings, Montana, where you can find this wonderful modular home. Now, I will say, I was actually surprised <laughs> at the price of this being a modular it comes in under $150,000. i will get you the actual price towards the end. But this one is under $150,000 for modular. And you've got that sliding glass door. So let's go ahead and head on in. And then we can talk some more about the home once we get inside. So now that we're inside, we're going to start with the living room area. There's your front door right over there. Now I will tell you before I pan around, this one is not fully trimmed out. So you will see the marriage line in this home. With that said, ignore that. Focus on the home. This one is really nice. For the size of the home and the price, I don't think you're going to get anything better. So our living room, of course it comes off into the kitchen, in the dining room. That was to be expected. While the bedrooms are at one end, everything else has got to be at this end, right? And you've still got the perfect wall for your TV with lots of windows coming in. That sliding glass door right over there in your dining room. Now there is a good size area here for the dining room. So overall, I mean you've got, look how, that's a great big rug. Now you can put a, obviously a much bigger table than what they've got in here. There's plenty of room for a four person table, maybe even six person if you wanted it. And then our kitchen, we've got these really nice light fixtures here. We've got our center island. Got a couple of drawers and then some cabinets down below. Now I'm sure you could probably option in some soft closed cabinets and drawers. And then we've got lots of cabinets surrounding our fridge. Now, of course, I can't open those because they got the rubber bands on them still. 
Now there's not a ton of storage in the kitchen, but you do have plenty of storage in here. You got a nice big window above your sink that does open up. You got the Frigidaire stainless steel appliances, even a gas burning stove. Of course you could option in electric if that's what you want. Now let's just kind of take a look at your whole kind of kitchen, dining room, living room area. So just kind of take it all in and then we'll get to the back of the home. So towards the back of the home, there's the back door. There is your electrical panel. This is your utility room. You've got your side-by-side -side washer and dryer with some cabinets up above. Now your furnace is in this section right over here on the other side. Now I personally would put, they've got some shelves here, but I would just put some solid shelves, build my own, make this the pantry right here. I would probably do the same thing right there and add some shelving in there. Maybe even put a chest freezer right here instead and just put shelves right there. So you've got plenty of options that you could do with that room if you wanted to. And then we come down the hallway, which kind of has a nice little layout to it. Kind of separates everything from the bed or from the rest of the home. And this would be bedroom number one. And you get a nice sized closet in here. There is your access to your attic. This door is for your furnace. And then our bathroom here. Nice little cubby space right there. So the sink isn't just plastered up against the wall right there, which is kind of nice. It's kind of in the middle, gives you some room to walk in. So the door's not gonna slam you if you, somebody decides to walk in not knowing you're in here. Hello, Raiden. <laughs> you got the square porcelain sink. Big storage space cabinet down below. And then we've got the shower tub combo. Of course, one piece. And into bedroom number two. Now this one, I'm just gonna kinda have to show you from right here. Cause as you can see, they've got a ton of trim supplies and stuff in here. <laughs> and I might be able to get the closet door open just a smidge, just to kinda give you a brief look in there. And then our back bedroom. Now I will say, even though all your bedrooms are at the end, you're technically not sharing any walls with your kids. So on the this wall right here, which looks like you're sharing it with your kid, that's where the closet's at. <laughs> so you've got this wall, you've got the wall of the other half, and then the wall of the closet. So you got three walls in between you and the kids' room. 
Here is our closet for our master bedroom. The water heater right there. I'm not sure if you can actually put the access to the water heater in the utility room or not, but that might be something I would consider if I can. And now let's look at the rest of the bedroom. <laughs> I know, doing things a little bit out of order. Now let's swing on into the bathroom here. So once again, you've just got a single sink. Great big vanity. Hello, Raiden. Well, I was kind of covering my face, so hello, Raiden. So we've got drawers right here. Lots of cabinet and counter space right here. Window above your toilet that opens. Now they've got just the single, single piece fiberglass shower here. I don't know if there's an option for a tub. I'm sure you could probably option in the shower tub combo. And then your linen cabinet over here. So now as we come back around, I'd like to see you guys come around and leave me comments in the comment section below. Once you hear the price on this one, what do you think? <laughs> like I said, this one is uh, for modular. I mean, you probably won't find a modular for this price. But anyway, or at least any really nice modulars, I should say. But anyway, so let me know in the comments down below what you think. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on them notifications. That way you get notified when I upload videos. Please share this video with your friends and family. It helps the videos perform better. And I will be back with that price that I know you all are wanting to hear. All right, so now we got to get you some price information on this, on, this, uh, on this phone, yes. I'm thinking about my new phone here. So anyway... We got to get you some price information on this home. So this is kind of a one of a kind modular. I mean, I've tried to find a not so quote unquote cluttered floor plan and I couldn't find one. So I called them. This is kind of a one off. They specially designed it. They're for Majestic Homes. They can get it in Majestic Homes. They can get it in, you know, they can special order it anytime they want. Other than that, I can't really see where this floor plan is available anywhere else. So with that said, it's pretty much a Montana exclusive. That's about the best I can say for you. As I was starting to say, speaking of new phone, you'll have to let me know what you think of the video quality of this phone versus what my outros have been like before. This is a new one. This is the first video I've shot with it. I've taken a couple of test shots. Hopefully, there's no more fisheye on the wide angle when I'm filming the homes. I've started seeing comments about people talking about the old phone had some uh, fisheye look to it. So hopefully this one doesn't have it based on the test shots. I don't see it. So, and it shoots in 4K. As what I'm shooting this one as is 4K in the front facing camera. It also shoots 4K in the rear. So I won't have to do upscaling when I, shoot, when I go to do the 4K videos. So with that said, we got to get you the price information that I told you I would get on this one. I know I've been hinting at it all the whole time in the video and all that. They had this one specially built for them. It's a one of a kind. I really like the uniqueness of the floor plan. The way all the bedrooms are at one end of the home. You have that hallway. You have to kind of make the L shape to get around. And they've got it priced at $148,000 as shown. So, you know, modular, 148,000. Granted, it's a little over 1,200 square foot. It's kind of smaller. But 
where do you get modulars for 148,000 anymore? So anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, notifications, share this video with your friends and family, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.